Hello fellow floss tubers, it's Patty here with episode 82. Today is November the 11th, 2019. This is Veterans Day here in the States, or also known as Armistice Day for the end of World War I. On today's show, I have whips, I have knitting, and I have some hull. So sit back and relax, grab your beverage of choice, water for me, your craft of choice, and let's chat. I would like to thank everyone who has served in the armed forces or had family members that served in the armed forces. Thank you so much for your service. I think it's very important for us to remember them on Veterans Day and Memorial Day and all those other special days that we thank them for their service and what they do for our country or anyone's country is that in that matter. So anyway, shall we get on with the rest of it? This week, this last week, um, it was a relatively quiet here at Casa de Patty. Um, on Wednesday, I went and picked up my parents' groceries and did a couple of errands for them, got all that put away, and they had been warning everyone that there was winter storm adviseries with rain and snow so as I was leaving my parents house it started to rain so I got back home and I said to the knit group I'm not going anywhere since it's raining out and then Thursday morning when I woke up the snow had come so rain snow rain again and snow so I was kind of trapped because my little car does not like to go in the deep snow and they have not plowed our road yet and they still haven't I have a school that sits behind me so the road behind me is plowed the side road that's beside me is not plowed the main drag is plowed the other end of my road is plowed but the road I live on is not plowed it is the craziest thing there's more people that live in this little section of the road than there is in the other section of the road. That got plowed, but we didn't get plowed. And even the road over there got plowed. <laughs> I know, I'm complaining, but it's really bad because now there's ruts and you have to really maneuver it. And from being a wide two lane, it's like a very close two lane. And in some places it's, it's almost like one and a half. So you really need to watch what you're doing. But I was able to finally get out and venture out on Saturday. And then I ventured out on Sunday as well. So, you know, and I'm going to go out later on today. So, I mean, I can still leave because the hubs is keeping the driveway shoveled. And, but, oh, I just... I don't like when they don't plow and they're complaining that they just don't have the money and they're also saying that they don't have the manpower that uh, Fort Wainwright hired people and a couple of other companies around town hired people so there's nobody to run the graders and the plows so <sighs> it's so much fun I mean this is one of the things that happens every year it snows every year every year but, yeah Thank you to the state of Alaska. You're wonderful. Anyway, shall we get on with the stitching instead of all the complaining? <laughs> I think so. So my Mira Monday was Moonflower. And I also made this work for my Harry Potter School of Magical Stitches and Literature homework. And the prompt for this one was stitch on something that you haven't stitched on in a very long time. So of course this was last year's new start on the 18th. So I haven't stitched on it since. So I did two... I think I did over 200 stitches on the moon. So after I am done speaking with you guys today, I will be working on that again. And so the rest of these projects, except for one, were homework as well. So I started Give Thanks, because I have no Thanksgiving cross stitches at all. And I used the called for floss color and that is DMC 4135 so this was give thanks and on this prompt I used this for shoot I 
hate when I, I had it. Um, one of them was listening to sound. So I said you could hear the turkeys. This is also a repeating with the seven Harry Potters. So you had to get one that was a repeating pattern. So that's got the repeating pattern there. I also said that this would be the cover of my biography because I, it says give thanks, and I give thanks for my family, my friends, and food because I love Thanksgiving. So I did 600 stitches or over 600 stitches on this and that is where I'm at. This is 28 count Even Weave by Charles Craft. And I really like how that floss is um, very, that variegation in that floss. I really like that. So this one will be coming out more off, more time this month so I can get a good jump start on that. And another prompt we had to do was work on something that you're the closest to finishing with. And I pulled out Marabelia Petal Fairy. Because even though it doesn't look like it, I think I am the closest getting the stitching done on this. So here's Petal Fairy. And I worked on finishing up a couple of her petals. And I worked up here. So I did more than the 200 stitches on this one. But yeah, she's coming along. It's just fun to work on when I work on her. So this is 28 count toasted almonds, if I remember correctly, by Zweigart. No, by Wichelt. I'm sorry. This is a tough one. So this is Wichelt. Okay, and then we had some extra credit that we could get our bonus stitches. And the prompt for that was to find a pattern that had the letters R A B in it. So I pulled up Barbara Anna Designs, the branch. And I got oh, a little bit over 200 stitches done on this one as well. This is 32 count vintage, vintage country mocha. So I work, I did this and I did the building. So that's where this one's at. And I even did some back stitching already. And you can kind of see it, then there's a date there. So that was cool. Very, very nice. Um, you know, I was really trying not to do any um, Halloween patterns for a little bit, but you know I love Halloween, so I'm probably just going to not worry about it and work on whatever I want to work on. But that is, what, that, is that one. And then the last project that I worked on on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, not Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sometimes, right? I pulled out, of course, Fright Night by charted by um, Gecko Rouge, and it's by Lewis T. Johnson. I am stitching this on 25 count, easy guide, one over one, and I did. Stitchopoly with this pattern. I probably should just do Stitchopoly all the time because I've got all these other things that I'm counting, so I might as well do that. But I figure this one is easier if I just do it with this one because I don't want to have to take pictures and put it on both of them. One, and one place to put pictures is at a time is good. So, anyway. I did a whole bunch on this one. So one of the rolls I landed on lily pad and they said for the next three rolls you had to double your stitches. And I was over in the big numbers. So one of them I had to do 560 stitches and I ended up doing 640 before I realized it and went shoot. And then my next roll I landed on go. And then my last roll I landed on one, two, three stitch which is 100 stitches, so I did 200 stitches, and then I rolled it again and got 220, but I went ahead and did more than that, so I got like another 300 stitches done, so I got a lot done. So this is the end of the page. So these first eight pages, I'm just going to fan it like that, and then I'll start with page nine. I uh, took all the floss from the page nine that I had um, 
waiting are parked and I'm just not even gonna park down here I'll just put them back but that is where I'm at look at that cat you can see the cat and his eyes so that's really cool and my husband last night thought he was being so funny and saying oh you don't need any more patterns this one's gonna take you 2,000 hours and you just don't need to do any more and you got plenty you know you silly man it doesn't work that way because mm -mm, I already bought stuff and then after he told me that I bought another thing so he just needs to shh right right so that is all that I worked on with the stitching purchases so I went to Joann's last night and if you are on the Hufflepuff group you saw this but I picked this up at Joann's it was on an fantastically crazy sale it was listed at $29.99 and I picked it up for $3.99. $3.99. I could not believe it. I mean, I had my 50% coupon out and everything waiting to pay for this and it was $3.99. So I thought that was so cute. And it is a cross stitch one, so I don't have to, it's not a needle point, it is a counted cross stitch. So I was very happy. And this looks like it's full coverage, so I need to start that in December if I want to get it done by next December. And then I picked up last night a birth sampler because I just couldn't get into the trains. I don't know what it is about that one. I just can't get into that one. Maybe at some point I'll be able to do it, but I just couldn't. So I picked up a baby birth announcement by Christy Patterns off of Etsy. I like it. Love you to the moon and back. I think that is so cute and really great for a boy. So, And uh, if I have a baby girl granddaughter, I will figure out something else. But we know that this next one is a boy. So but that is what I'm going to start working on now. And I'm going to use 14 count. Because she says 14 count, it's 8 by 11 so that'll be perfect size perfect size and it's a dmc so that's great and i also picked up some prairie moon now i know that there's been some controversy about how expensive it is and that you can only download it once and you can only download it within 24 hours i get that she's trying to protect herself she yeah, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I, I kind of wish it wasn't as expensive as it is because it is a PDF. But I went ahead and I downloaded it to Goodreaders and then I printed it off. So that way I have a hard copy in case something happens to my iPad. So I picked up Crypt Club because look at that. I love it. I love Crypt Club. And there's a couple of other the Crypt Clubs that I like that I'm going to pick up eventually, just not right now. And then I picked up Cat vs. Spider because I just love the crazy hair on that pumpkin. <laughs> and look at that cat. That is just so crazy. And I have no idea if you guys can hear that or not, but it's really loud. It sounds like uh, somebody's blowing their snow. <laughs> Or, oh, it's a snow machine from across the road. That's what it is. We're in town, and you're not supposed to run snow machines on the road, but our neighbors run their machines on the road all the time. And sp speaking of the road, um, Friday, I opened the door to peek out to see if I needed to shovel the sidewalk before uh, my daughter-in-law got here. And there was a fox standing in the middle of our road. <laughs> It's like, wow, okay, and I went to go get a picture of him, and he was gone by the time I got my phone to take the picture. Dang, dang, dang. But anyway, yeah, so that was all that I purchased last week. And I don't, I've only got the floss coming in, and I am not, I mean, I am going to slow way down on purchasing, but with the prairie moon, I just, there's a couple of prairie moons I want, like I said before. I want the witches drinking the martinis and the zombies drinking the rum. And I think there was a couple of other ones that hopefully she'll release all the stuff she did. Because 
there was one I really wanted, and I can't remember what it is. But And the red and the black looks very interesting, but I'm not into samplers. I have found that out. I really, some samplers just take way too long. Way too long. So, shall we get on with knitting now? Okay. Okay, so, this is Stephen West's Starflake that I am still working on, and I believe I am on clue six. So, there is clue four on both sides. So, got that finished. And another storm warning just flashed across the top of my phone. I'll have to look. And here is another clue. And then clue five, we put the short rows on the tops of the stars. Okay, and then clue six, you can see it is kind of a rough a, a lace pattern there. Yep, the kids are out snow machining. I just heard them yelling since they had the day off for Veterans Day. So, that is all of the knitting that I did. I have not bought any yarn. I have not bought any patterns to knit. It's exciting. Oops. But, looking around, I don't see anything else that I want to talk about. I do know that I'm going to be doing the Mara Monday. I will be starting the first sampler. This one won't take as long. Maybe I can fit this into some of the prompts this week. And yeah, and work on whatever else crosses my mind, right? Yeah, so I hope that you guys all have a great week. And if you're new, thank you so much for stopping in and checking me out. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back week after week. And thank you too for all the comments. And I also want to say I'm really sorry. I saw that I had comments back for three years that I never answered because I didn't even know I had them. So if you commented a long time ago, I am so sorry that I never commented back. That was really, really crappy of me and I'm sorry so I am really doing much better at answering my comments so I hope that if you all have a great week and I hope that whatever you craft you craft it to your heart's content and I'll see you guys next week bye